Hey, it's Daryl as a service. The new Teams channels layouts are starting to appear in people's experience of Microsoft Teams. You'll probably see a splash screen like this saying channels have just got a makeover. So uh, it does guide you through a couple of simple things, taking you through some in-context help. Um, so showing you, first of all, that posts are now at the top of the channel. So that's quite important. Um, and we scroll on through, pop out that conversation so we can do that. We can pop the conversations out into its own separate window. Got that, no problem. And that's about it. Hmm, interesting. I would have expected more out of a tour because there's a lot more. So let's take you through that. Um, let's uh, first of all have a look at just, just two of the main things that I see here. Um, it is uh, a very different layout. Yes, messages are at the top, but we've also got a channel sidebar. And so the channel sidebar given a lot of the information. Let's take a close look at what has changed for the posts at the top of the channel. Uh, we are going to click into create a new post, but we do have a couple of options. We can use a regular post or create an announcement. Uh, I'm just going to create a new post. And um, as Laura, I am taken directly through to um, quite a good practice here seeing where I can add a subject to the message. Now this is something that not many people have got into the habit of doing, but it really is a good thing because it lets you see what the message is about as you glance down the channel. Uh, it's also opening up the toolbar so that we can see the different formatting options. Uh, so let, I might just say that this is a new post um, about marketing idea for new Teams feature. And uh, we'll continue from here. Um, usual sort of story, we can add some text, we can bold and all that sort of stuff, that's no problem. Uh, underneath the three dots menu, we've got the usual um, additions here. Uh, I do see that a code snippet is a bit more prominent, but there are a few other things there too. So uh, if you are looking for some other things that you want to do to format your text, then it's right there. Um, and nothing has really changed here in terms of the uh, messaging extensions. If we click on um, the plus sign and add one of those, we'll scroll on down to YouTube maybe and add a YouTube video. Uh, let's see what's there for Modern Work Mentor. What comes up in search? Oh yeah, that one will do. So some updates to the Viva Connections landing page. Okay, that's a reasonable suggestion. Um, so that's quite good. Um, and we have the option there to open it up now or share it in a Teams meeting. We won't test that out, but um, you can see that messaging extensions are still the same. Uh, what else have we got underneath here? We've got a um, button here to change uh, how or where replies are allowed. And there's two places to see this. It's really interesting. Uh, as I'm posting it, I can see um, that I can change whether everyone can reply or uh, only moderators, people who are uh, team owners uh, can reply to this. Um, I can also change where it has been posted. So posting in just this channel or multiple channels. Uh, so those are a few things I can do while I'm editing uh, the message. And we'll just post that. Okay, so that's good, that's helpful. Um, but. That's, that's the message side of things. What about this extra channel here? Uh, so this is bringing to the forefront some of the information we might find useful that was usually hidden. And the thing is that it's not too intrusive. It is just a sidebar. And if it does get in the way and you want to have a bit more room, then you can tuck that off to the side and you're back to having your full experience. Uh, let's actually go back over to um, the Teams experience on desktop because we were looking at it from the web browser here. Same sort of thing. Um, we can tuck that uh, sidebar away, but I mean, are we really losing much there? We're not, are we? Because, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of white space over here as we are creating messages. I think the sidebar is quite useful and it does open up uh, as a default uh, to start with. We can see the people that are within our team. And this might change too, because when the context is a channel and it might be a shared channel, uh, there might be more people that are a member of the channel, but not necessarily a member of the team. So this number might change and it makes sense uh, in that scenario. As we hover over people, we can see uh, the usual contact cards and the like. Uh, and if we click on see all, then we're going to be taken through to managing the team and, own, and the membership there. 
back over to general. Uh, what else can we do? Underneath options, we're bringing out some of these options again, making them more prominent. Uh, we can see that we can manage the channel, we can manage whether we're using moderation or not, so allowing people to uh, make posts, or maybe it's just the team that's allowed to make posts in the general channel. So that's a good moderation feature, but it's making it again more prominent. Uh, channel notifications, we get that little window to pop up there that's managing my notifications, how engaged do I want to be with the content on this channel. And so, you know, whether it be new posts, etc., that hasn't changed, nothing changed there at all. Uh, but it is certainly uh, more prominent. Uh, what else underneath the see all, or rather the updates? Um, so this is where things didn't really uh, show uh, easily. Th this kind of information was in the channel, we might have um, added someone new to the team or changed something about the channel, and it was just there as this um, very subtle, unassuming little note, which could disappear if the channel got very busy with conversations. But now that those updates are off to the side in the information panel, we're seeing that information and we can uh, easily see it call out. Uh, and history-wise, I was quite surprised to go back and see that, wow, this, this team is actually quite old. It's, uh, Back is the 31st of March 2019 is when I created this one for demonstrations and it's got all that history there already showing um, guests that I have um, added and removed to the team and um, things that I've changed about um, tabs and channels and features and apps that might have been added so uh, good to see all that history. Lastly, uh, channel meetings uh, have moved up to the top here. So there is a button to be able to launch a uh, or create a channel meeting. Uh, so that's going to bring out that usual um, Teams meeting invite where we can uh, add a title, we can add required attendees. It's a channel meeting, so it's available to anyone in the team who can attend, uh, who might want to attend the, the meeting. You can see the context there that it's going to be created in the marketing team. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Location, physical location, if you're going to have it in a meeting room as well, and the body of the message. No other changes up here. Um, we've got, you know, free, busy, time zones, response options, etc. So nothing changes in that sense. So, you know, it doesn't look like there's massive change, but the real significant one, of course, is having the um, the message at the top of, or the newest messages at the top of the channel, and this uh, side panel here for the information. I think it's actually setting up for more because um, we know from looking at some of our messages in the message center that when we search for something in a channel, uh, let's say we're going to try and search for the word uh, channel layout. So let's use a shortcut key uh, like Control F on Windows or Command F on Mac and that will allow us to search within the channel. So let's look for the words channel, whoop, channel layout. Okay, and it, it searches and it finds and displays those results over in the channel and teams area of teams. You know, it covers over where we are and shows those search results. And we know from a message center that a feature is coming that will actually bring that into the experience of the channel. So that's quite helpful. Um, more to come, I believe. Um, I know, shh, hush, hush, but uh, there is a lot of cool things coming which will take advantage of this new layout and uh, really give us a great a collaborative experience in Teams and Channels. So uh, I guess that wasn't very quick in terms of running through it, but um, yeah, good to, good to take a look at it and see uh, that it's landing now in our experience in Microsoft Teams for most people and uh, it's something to get used to and get ready to. Uh, to be prepared for. So if you like this kind of content and you do find it helpful for preparing your people and keeping up with change, uh, then you know where I am uh, at Modern Work Mentor. Uh, this is my channel. You can find me at modernworkmentor.com as well where I'm helping organizations to uh, deal with change, to train them, to communicate um, that change and engage leadership and guide people through that, that process. So um, yeah, we'll see you next time uh, on uh, this channel. <laughs> Bye for now.